This is the first John Favreau movie we've watched since Daredevil. Thank God. He didn't direct that, though. No, but he's in it. He is in it. We didn't like him in it. John Favreau doesn't strike me as a knuckle tattoos kind of guy. I'm surprised Favreau has time for a chef show. He's, like, producing so many things. He's pretty much Disney's go-to man at this point. Yep. Him and Abrams. Is that a... That's a whole pig, yes. No. John the... Leguizamo. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. John Leguizamo. There's a lot of people in this movie. We will find that out very shortly. I know Robert Downey Jr.'s in this. He is. I mix this one up all the time with the Bradley Cooper one. Burnt. 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 Where's Tony? Tony and I were out late last night. Tony, where's Tony? Don't ever say that. It makes me think of Iron Man. They're sending a big reviewer who's also some huge food blogger. You know what a food blogger is? Yeah. You got her right about food on the internet. He mansplained it to him directly after. Dude, it's like in a video game when the game asks you if you want a tutorial, you say no, and it tells you anyways. It's spicy. You like spicy? No. no it's not so spicy. Come on. You ever heard of New Orleans? Yeah. Yeah? This is supposed to be your son, and you act like you don't know him at all. I got this reviewer coming. After the review? Yeah, after the review. After this review, right now? I got hot quality content commentating on my movie. I got to be there for that. It's very important. He's doing a really good job pretending to be a chef. This is exactly how they speak. Well, he's channeling the Gordon Ramsay. Is that ScarJo? Yes. Yeah, she's in it. Carl, I've done this before. I can help guide you. I don't, I don't need guidance right now. I need space. It sounds like they're breaking up. <laughs> Fine, I'm taking Peter. <laughs> or Percy or whatever our kid's name is. I have a feeling that John Favreau just watched a shit ton of Hell's Kitchen. And was like, I want to make a movie. Gordon Ramsay's really just a caricature of what all yeah. uh, head he, chefs are like. He exaggerates it, but he means everything he's saying. Yeah. You know who's coming tonight? We're being reviewed by the most important critic in the city. Yes. You know Hot quality content's going to be in this building. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mud and Jake and Ian. Those three, three fucking idiots. legends. One's you know a comedy that? groundbreaker, damn it. You got to stop calling yourself that. So you don't know that, but I know it. You deserve it. So be smart, just for tonight. <laughs> Look at that man. He does not care about anything this guy's saying. The local boss comes down to tell the fucking regional guy what to do. Thank you. Thank you. You know what a shot is, kid? Yeah, I know what a shot is. Here, I'm seven. I don't give a shit. Take. Delwaz, eager to please. Woo! Carl Casper has somehow managed to transform himself from the edgiest chef in Miami to the needy ant that gives you $5 every time you see her in hopes that you will like her. So why'd you celebrate the review if you didn't know if it was positive or negative? His dramatic weight gain can only be explained by oh. the fact that he- Oh yeah, uh -huh. thanks guys. Attack him personally, best review. Two stars. Add a two, we did it! And it's true, because you are. You are, Carl, you are the best chef I've ever okay. worked with. You're fat and unimaginative, Carl. <laughs> Just like the review says. <laughs> you gotta worse. understand, Scarjill. I'm a plus one. So Favreau was like, I'm making a movie where I'm the lead. Who should be the love <laughs> interest? Hmm, I have executive choice in casting. Scarlett Johansson. It's like the mule where Clint Eastwood has two threesomes. <laughs> yeah. And he also directed it. Dude, this food looks so good. This is why I wanted to watch this. Scarjo is looking at the food the same way Ian is currently looking at the food. I'm monumentally more hot, though. All right, who's my bitch ex-wife? And the other girl that I'm with all the time is going to be Sofia Vergara. So, <laughs> honestly, Studio, I really feel like this character should have five other ex-wives. You know, Emma Stone, Gal Gadot, Margot Robbie. But he sees them all all the time. That's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, he could have, like, a best friend who's implied to be in deep love with them. And that could be, like, you know, Charlize Theron. And then eventually all the ex-wives just get together and say, you know what? We forgive you. Floating sex orgy <laughs> from Jupiter Ascendant time. Backdoor <laughs> sluts 20. Can I watch? Yeah, sorry, it's at work. I won't get in the way. Yeah, I gotta go work. Okay, bye. We have fun next week. I like the fast cuts of him with his son. Because it implies how much he cares about his son compared to his work. Which is not much. It shows priority via how the movie's edited. All right, you make chef. Who is your ex-wife and who is your hot girlfriend? I'd go with Ian Mello and Mud from Hot Quality Content. Oh, oh right. I was gonna go with Jake and Ian. <laughs> song slaps. I love the song. Oh, this food looks so good. He's reinventing the entire menu. Oh my god. Because he got a two-star review. Oh, the crunch. It's good. Two out of five stars, dead. <laughs> Two stars. I'll kill you. That's satisfying as hell. Dude, that crunch is so perfect. Dude, the sound designers must be like going nuts right now. The sound design guy put on 30 pounds making this film. Ate the whole grilled cheese. Oh, wasn't that good of a take. Let's do it again. Better make more grilled cheese. You like to do fun things. I think this is kind of fun. 
you know, just figure stuff out. I think this is fun, breaking down you psychologically as you realize the entire nation has read your two-star review. Could we Twitter each other when we're not in the same place? Yeah. Could, could you show me how to do that? I don't know if you could really be a chef in this modern day and age and not understand Twitter. Because, like, Why? that's a huge part of reviews is, like, online social media. And at the time, what, 2014? That's one of the biggest ones. It's not so much anymore. It's more Instagram I mean, I, I guess it's, like, a celebrity chef. But it's, like, any chef ever. Maybe not any chef ever. But, like, it's big enough where hundreds of people apparently retweeted his tweets. Thousands. The reviews. a lot of people. Thousands? Jesus. Ah, uh, yes. A Twitter. I am now the Twittering. We have reservations canceling. Ooh, that Hashtag sucks. Hashtag chef fail. <sighs> Fuck you, Ramsey. You are a big bitch. Team Fortress 2. That's, That's big then. Yeah. Oop. Oh no. Uh-oh. So is this movie about food or is it more so about him understanding technology? It's a bit of both. He also made this on the show. He's like, this is what I use in my movie Chef. Yeah, him and Roy Choi. 123,000... 845 followers. Did you say 123,045 followers? That's one, two, three, four, five. They're sending me messages that goading me into responding to this prick. Well, don't do it. Don't do don't it. Do that. Don't do At least he's smart enough to know he's being goaded into replying. He might do it, though. That's the fucking internet, bro. That's right. Listen to him. Why yep, don't responding. you come by again and make out? <laughs> what kind of website could a 10 year old get on that has bad language? You literally read a tweet that had the F word in it. Hi, mommy. And then her and my ex-wife have a wet t-shirt contest. Yeah, <laughs> and then they mud fight over me. I understand that I shouldn't tweet any pictures of my dick, and any career advice should be kept to oneself. Okay, I'll see you later. Thank you. I got all this shit in the trunk. Come on. Dude, I just tweeted a picture of my dick. Come check it out. <laughs> this is what you've been cooking for years, and it works. And either you cook the menu that- No, it doesn't, because it didn't work with that guy that made viral online happen. No, I get where this guy's coming from. John Favreau's character is just having a fucking meltdown because one guy gave him a bad review. Well, now it's a new issue because he's created this- it, it, Twitter is basically an image kind of social media network, which is a lot of them. So now the image of the restaurant will be tainted if he does not change the menu, which he said he would on Twitter. So now that factors in. So this old guy needs to shut up and go along with what Favreau is saying. Otherwise, they're dishonest. It's a lose-lose situation. It really honestly. is. Favreau screwed himself in the foot. This is a really good script because it's yeah. really taking into account how modern uh, social media politics works. Dustin Hoffman. That's oh, him. he's Red Man oh. guy. It's freaking Dustin Hoffman. How did I not recognize him? Oh, it's that guy. Who? I don't fucking know. Oh, hot octopus. Damn. He's making some calamari. That's calamari stir fry, and it looks amazing. Oh, that's caramel glaze. Dude, I feel the same energy we had during the protector. Oh, he's making berry reduction. Who's this for? He's at home. Oh, burn. You just keep him right where the fuck he is. What? I'm parking the car. He's outside. Oh, he's out. Yes. Oh, dude. my God. I am not cloying. I am not needy. I don't care what you think. You That's why I came all the way back. It's fucking molten. See? It's fucking molten, you asshole. This would end up at the top of r slash public freakouts. To make people laugh. You know how hard I work for this shit? What sacrifices it makes to make you happy, and then you just smugly just fucking shit on my shit? He's yelling at us because this is what we do with the movies. I haven't, I haven't complained once about this movie, John. Not this one. I'm sorry, okay, dude? Shit, I liked you in Daredevil. Is that what you want to hear? It's fucking molten! He took that off someone else's plate. Don't you have relationships? Isn't that what you're hired to do? To take things like this off the internet? Take it off the internet. I have to delete the internet. You got two choices. You can either... She has three fingers up. Pick number three! It's terrible. What do you want me to tell you? I can't dress it up. I just wanna- I just wanna cook. If you wanna cook, maybe you shouldn't have gotten in that dude's face and screamed like a child. I thought he was showing up with the food he made. And I was like, too- Hey, was check so out excited. my food. Eat this shit, asshole! He just flips he shit. He basically just posted his dick on Twitter. Uh, let me- let me- let me- let me talk to him. Put him on. No, you can't talk to your son. Hey, Peter. It's Percy. Hey, Percy. I'm like a meme. You know what a meme is? I'm a meme. Oh, you know what a meme is? A meme is one of those funny internet pictures, Scarlet. They have impact font? He pronounced the word correctly? You know what a meme is? Yeah. <laughs> you know what a mime is? I think it's those people who are quiet. The meme, yeah. <laughs> I'm not dad material right now. I'm not. You're not. You haven't been dad material the whole movie. You're also kind of not chef material if you can't handle a review. Well, what about that restaurant that was on Kitchen Nightmares that refused help? Amy's Bakery? Yes. And people flocked there. Yeah, but then she shut down. <laughs> so wait a minute. This is his ex-wife, right? Yes. The mom of the kid. Piercy. Yes. Who the fuck is she dating where this is her house? Robert Downey Jr. Probably. 
Percy and I are going to Miami to see my father. Do you want to watch the mansion while I'm gone? The $2.7 million mansion? I wonder where they are. We need text on screen as well. Things are way better. They're really, really, really friendly. They got friendly. some good chemistry, yeah. Well, they're really friendly for being divorced. Well, not, not all, all divorced families are I know, awful. I know. They're usually on good terms, but they're like, I could mistake them as a couple if I didn't know about ScarJo. It's weird seeing him without the goatee. John Favreau stole it. I know. <laughs> it's the blip beard. Don't thank me till you see it. It's going to be a shit box. <laughs> oh, it's two shit boxes tied together. It's smoking! <laughs> That's not where the smoke's supposed to be coming from from a food truck. It's not even worth the money to fix it. You just got to buy a new food truck, man. Is this a new truck? This is it. You no, know, it's not. It's a piece of shit, Sophia. It's going to need a lot of work, though. I what doesn't? Not our relationship, apparently. We might as well still be married. Okay. It doesn't bother me. Okay. I just want to okay. know. Just listen. I was very sad. I was very lonely. And last night was crazy. Last night! <laughs> this morning! <laughs> Two hours ago was just fantastic. Pick it out of the garbage! No, I cleaned your whole stupid truck! Why are you so mean to me? I'm running away. I'm gonna go live with Robert Downey Jr. He fucks mom all the time, unlike you. Hey, son, you want to eat some of that? Hey, dumbass, come here. I'm gonna put your nose in it. I'm sorry that you fucked up today, son. The truck looks great. You did a great job. I'm sorry I was mean. <laughs> That's such a half-assed apology. This thing's sharp. It could send you to the hospital if you're not careful. I'm gonna teach you how to use this thing. You use it to scrape out that pan you never fucking did, piece of shit. This is a food truck. You're a sous chef now. So? Food truck don't need a sous chef? Okay, fine. You're hired. Pays nothing. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> you're <laughs> not gonna scare me, buddy. Thank you so much. I love shit like that. Yeah. He, that's a ride or die. He literally just upended his promotion just to do this with him. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's fucking loyalty. If Ian's like, I'm going to start this new food truck, I'd be like, all right, see ya, and then hang up. Dude, you ever had some food trucks in fucking Boston? That shit's fire. Oh, yeah, I go to PAX every year. Ian, like that? Dude, no. that shit better crunch. Oh my god. Fuck me. Oh my god, that looks good. I'm so hungry. I know we just ate, but I am so fucking hungry. <laughs> I am so happy I recommended this movie. You have no idea. Mm. Oh, oh equal pieces. Oh. The crispity crunch. Ooh, that, did you hear the slow crunch? Look at the cheese drip, too. You know what I fucking love? The paper that food comes in. That shit feels so good in your hands when you're eating. I don't know about that. I do. I'm more of a plate guy. Nah. When you're out on the streets like this, like food truck style. I'll bring a plate. I'll bring a dish. You're a freak. <laughs> I'm more of eating food off some titties style. That's weird. I don't think the food truck can offer mm, yeah, that right now. Yeah, some nice fondue off titties. My kid and I saw you on Tosh.0. Oh, you were hilarious. Ah, nice relevant shout out. That was relevant in 2014. He's running the social media. Makes which sense. Is really interesting. He is a youngin. Check us out on Vine. Oh, a deep cut. Oh, rest in peace, my guy. I miss Vine. Low key, rest in peace, Twitter, too. Twitter, one mistake and we'll kill you. Now, son, watch this. I don't want to interact with you anymore, Dad. I want to be with Mom. Yeah, I would never do that in front of my kid. He's not a good dad. I think we've determined this. It's nice, right? Nice. <laughs> this is such a weird scene. All right, where's the conflict? I've only seen good things happen so far, and we're almost at the third act. Is it going to culminate in the reviewer? I think that's truck? where we're going. Okay. Is This is him building his confidence back up. Sure. And then the view reviewer is going to come and review the truck. Yep. Or he's going to have a showdown with his old boss. Could be, but the boss wasn't that much of an antagonist. Yeah, good point. <gasps> Holy shit. How'd you get those pictures from here? When I was going to Cafe du Monde. And you put it online? Mm -hmm. You're a genius kid. Wow, basic advertising. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are they catering the menu for where they are? Oh, that's, that's the so smartest good. thing in the world. Why are they playing like the tuba music? Because that's New Orleans music. New Orleans jazz. Oh, okay. It sounds sad. Yeah, that's New Orleans music. I like that they cater both food and the soundtrack to where they are. I don't want it to end, but I also don't want them to get into conflict. I just want them to be happy for forever. Oh, Texas? They're going to serve guns. Dude, they're going to give some thick barbecue. So if they drove to Massachusetts, what are they serving? Depression? Chowder. Uh, chowder? Lobster rolls? Chowder's great if you're here. I had some kind of yeah. bad chowder yesterday. Where, where'd you go? New York? No. <laughs> oh my god. It's not even like a prop or anything. They fucking did that. I am so fucking hungry. I'm going to be really busy with the truck and you're going to be really busy with school. I could just drop out. Now you're talking like a real chef. But I could I could definitely be like, yeah, son, you can work for me on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. Like, I think that's a fair compromise. Absolutely. There's ways around this. 
Yeah. Because look, that's what the kid's finally wanting to do and happy with his dad and shit. Yeah. Back to your room. Back to your $2.7 million apartment. I will be in my $10,000 truck. Yeah, I just spent the last four weeks with you. Go, go get your mom, I guess. <laughs> Mommy spent the last four weeks with Robert Downey Jr. I could really use your help on the truck. And it's only for the weekends and after school, after you're done with your homework and all the money goes into your college fund. Perfect hey. solution. Yep, they're back together. Yep. That's sweet. That is. All right, guys, out of 10. Ian, you go last. Yeah, I know. Shit, man. This was a really good character piece, to be honest. It was. I thought like, it'd be mostly about this guy struggling to make food. It kind of is, but it's mostly about him and his son. Yeah. It's a family movie. I like that. It's a really good story. I think there's a lot of uh, really interesting characters, and I think everyone feels like a real person. Yeah. A lot of movies, they have just like these stupid characters that wouldn't really exist. And yeah, for like, the sake know, of the plot. But everyone plot. here for his na feels natural mm -hmm. and like they have realistic reactions to everything. Yeah. You know? Everyone in every scene has a purpose and would act that way. Like, yeah, Jean Favreau's character freaks the fuck out. But based on the characterization, he would do that. Absolutely. You know, it's he's his pride really, and joy. That's his whole he's life. He's very sensitive about these yeah. things. Absolutely. I like how none of it's really over dramatized. Even the thing with his son. Like, he's like, I don't know why you're so mean. He had, like, a small temper tantrum, walked away like kids do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he apologized half-assed. He's like, fine. That's how he would be. It's his dad. But the real m and makeup at the end when they're uh, Towards the end, when they're on the top of the truck, and he's like, I don't know if this could go back to normal. The kid's upset. He's crying, but he's not, like, over-dramatized crying. He's not yelling. He's like... He's not running off. Yeah, he's, like, you know? internalizing that him and his dad's relationship is even only the, like this for a certain time. Even the time. Mis, quote misunderstanding that kicks everything off. Yeah. The guy explains his side. He's like, you sent me a public <gasps> seat. I thought we were having a bit of banter. banter. Yeah. And then you just came at me. Yeah. You know? And he's like, well, I thought I was sending a private text. He's like, yeah, I didn't fucking I didn't know, know that. that. Yeah. How was I supposed to know that? That it's, wasn't It's a misunderstanding and it's a real it's misunderstanding. It's a realistic misunderstanding. Yeah. You know, this guy, I mean, to be fair, on both ends, John Favreau goes a little too hard. And yeah. gets a little too well. Like, he doesn't in his understand face. online review culture. Yeah, and yep. the review guy, even if he's saying it's theatrics, he was still kind of a dick. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, but it, it well, crossed the line from being funny to just mean. If the initial review, let's say it's a harsh review, if the chef tweets you, "Come back, asshole," or you don't know fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, from there it's theatrics. But like initially, I'm saying his initial yeah. review. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he even say put on weight. Like, yeah, that's, that's kind of yeah, that's a personal crossing attack. the line from like being funny to just you're just kind of being a dick, being mean to yeah. him. Yeah. So yeah, yeah some critics mm -hmm. are like that. I'm not saying that's unrealistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I, I, I gotta. Like, I appreciate the realism in this movie a lot. Yes. Yeah. I appreciate I, the food of this movie. Oh yeah, yes. absolutely. Everything looked. I could smell some of the dishes in this movie at one point. Like mm -hmm. it, this movie, I love that they changed the menu. I picked up on that when they went to the second place. I'm like, they're going to a place to scout food and change the menu. Like yeah. that's so fucking that's good. Awesome. That's how you have to do it. Mm -hmm. And I, I loved it. Like that was. It was pretty. There's good. a lot of great editing choices and directing choices. This is good. Like date night movie Absolutely. this is a great movie like i'm gonna i'm yeah. gonna next time i'm hanging out with my girlfriend she's gonna be like what we'll do you want to watch chef. Be like, we're watching chef <laughs> hell yeah chef's we're, we're so good chef. and with that i will give it a nine nine out of ten um, almost fucking perfect i'm a little more conservative i'm gonna go with an eight I think mm. it was really, really solid, and I'd definitely watch this again. Man, you guys are going to fucking roast me. That's a that's a big fatteroni 10. Wow. I love this No, movie. I love it, dude. Okay. I love the aesthetic choices. I love the character study between him and his father. I thought this was going to be a fun, dumb movie about food. It ended yeah. up being, like, well-meaning and deep and, like, real and grounded, and I appreciated that he acted like a chef he acted kind of like a, he acted like the absent father that he was because he was so wrapped up in his work like the realistic aspects in this movie and the little editing choices like the little twitter thing popping up i know a yeah, lot of things do that but i love that motif. Shit like that and it didn't look fake or cheap or cheesy and the food oh my god I, just a fun little romp about food would have been like a seven or an eight maybe if it was like well made and it is a romp about food in it a is sense. a romp about but food. like the family aspect the ride or die from john linguizamo like the little the mm -hmm, kitchen yeah. culture that they brought in they and i know john favreau is super talented obviously at directing and had, writing is like making his thing but this blew me out of the like water this might be like his strongest work of oh, everything i've seen from um him. probably it's up there yeah for me it's not i don't know if it's his strongest but it, it's definitely up there as one of his best yeah um mud yeah with all that out of the what's way. your movie are you recommending food <laughs> no sadly so this will be this is our last round before another double down isn't it oh yes, yes it sir oh, yes, okay is. so um i am well known on this channel i would say for having beef with a certain director i don't like anything he's ever made. Uh. 
And I recently discovered I'm actually only one film away from seeing his entire filmography. And I've been told this is his best film. Who is it, Shane Black? So we're going to watch Shane Black's The Nice Guys. <laughs> yes. I've wanted to watch The Nice Guys separate from this You film. know what's very fun? I'm also like, oh, for everything on Shane Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's, He's he has directed good. four things. He's directed think... Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3, The Nice Guys, and The Predator. I don't like... Kiss, uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang's fine. Yeah, I don't like okay. Iron Man 3 and I don't like The Predator. I'm his biggest defender here because I really like Kiss Kiss. I'm I'm a fan of Iron Man 3. I'm not a great big fan of Iron Man 3. Um, the Predator's what's the other hot ones? garbage. Predator's hot garbage. I agree with yeah. that very strongly. 